Oh, welcome back, everybody. In an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal, President Joe Biden says that the U.S. economy is in recovery mode. The president says that the economy can move to stable if the right policies are put in place. In the meantime, many Americans are facing higher prices for food, for gas, as we know, and also many other household items. President Joe Biden is meeting with Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell today, according to a White House official who says the meeting will focus on the inflation crisis gripping the country. The American families are confronting price increases. They're having a hard time uh, dealing with their family budgets. One of the items hitting people in the wallet especially hard, filling up the car. I certainly have rethought some of my summer plans, both in flying and in driving. The national average cost for a gallon of regular is more than $4.60 as of today, according to GasBuddy.com. Price is now up $1.55 a gallon from a year ago, and it may get worse before it gets better. The average commute may be 12 and a half miles, and, and the average car gets 25 miles a gallon combined. You know, you're going to pay $4.60 every day on your way uh, to and from work, and that's certainly going to add up over the course of a week. Many Americans are also dealing with sticker shock at the grocery store, where double-digit year-over-year price hikes are being seen from mustard to frozen meat. Supply has been hurt by extreme weather that's lowered crop yields, labor costs are up, the war in Ukraine has disrupted supply. Um, so all of these different factors adding to the cost of living. And some analysts say recent economic indicators show inflation may have peaked in March, but economists have warned that it could take a while before inflation falls back to a healthy level.